Hey guys, welcome to my installation tutorial for liquid warping GAN or hypercore or deep fake motion or whatever you want to call. And this installation tutorial is only be obviously covering tutorial. So if you want to see how this AI performs or have a basic introduction of what this AI is, you can head over to my main channel and I have a video on this AI. Um, link will be down in the description or top right corner. So to get started, we have to get ourselves a few stuff. So the very first stuff we want to do is we want to install Anaconda if you don't have one. So we can run the Python codes much more easily. So we want to scroll down here. Um, I'll link this down in the description. We want to download the 64 bit graphical installer. And after you install this, it will be pretty straightforward and you just everything on default settings, press yes, you're done. And the next thing you want to do is CUDA download this CUDA toolkit 10.1 and you can go to this link and uh, it will be linked down in the description. So Windows 86 64 10 exe and you download once you download this um, installer you do everything default same thing and then boom you're done so after you insult cuda toolkit temper one properly um you can find um your cuda toolkit here so it's at c program files nvidia graphic uh, nvidia gpu computing toolkit slash cuda and you'll be seeing this v 10.1 which is the right version that we are gonna use so you wouldn't see this. You only see 10.1 because we only downloaded 10.1. So you want to click into it and then copy this file path here by clicking on it and go to your search bar and type e environment. And then you'll see this edit the system environment variables. And when you go in, you want to press on this environment variables and you want to press on new and it's called CUDA underscore home and then paste your variable values here. Make sure nothing else is behind this and that this has to be the, exactly the same. And after that, you press OK and then press OK and then you can leave. So after we are done with downloading the CUDA toolkit, um, we will want to download the GitHub repo. So you want to download the zip and then you want to choose a file location which you want to install your stuff at. So, um, so basically create a folder where you want to install your um, I per core at uh, or whatever you want to call it um, I'll put it here uh, and I'll paste drag this zip file here and then I'll extract it here and give it a second and then after it's done you can just delete the zip file and then now you can go in and you see all these files and then the next thing we do is scroll down in this repo and we go to the installation.md and then you can scroll down and we want to download this FFMPEG. So after you press download, it will download you a zip file, which will code executables. Um, let me show you. I already have it here. Uh, that was from my first attempt of making a tutorial. Um, you will see something similar like this. You, you have to keep it, by the way. Uh, it will not damage you since uh, well, hopefully it doesn't, not hopefully, but I don't think it would. Um, so it will be something like this. When you drag, you, you have to drag this in here after you're done, drag it and unzip it. I'm not gonna unzip it. Um, I will just copy my own copy since I already have one. So it will be something like this, executables, the exact same file name. It has to be exactly the same. It will be this. It should be this version. It shouldn't be any other. And then when you go in, it should, you should see a bin, and you had to see you should see the FFM peg here and FFM FF probe here. And then once that's done, you can go back to assets. And we want to go down here to see you see the checkpoints. You want to press on this link and download the checkpoints. And I already have the same thing. I already have it, so I'm not gonna unzip it. So I'm just gonna. Um, show you, you basically drop it here and you unzip it and there will be something like this checkpoints detection uh, it will be more than that actually uh, this folder will be 1.37 GB and it is really large so keep that in mind for some of you and what we can do in the meantime is we will want to create a virtual environment for where our stuff um, are 
libraries for this AI, basically a lot of miscellaneous stuff to be installed in. So you want to um, go to this file location here, just the, just the thing behind, oh, here. You see this as a base, you want to copy this file location and you type CD space and then copy and paste, no, just paste and then press enter and now you see nothing changed that is because we are on a different disk so you want to type in g to switch to that specific disk that we are on and see now it should be pointing at your directory you should double check make sure it is pointing at the right uh, at the right directory and the next thing you want to type in is conda create oh it is done pasting let me just show you how it should look like so checkpoint it should be look like this and then they are not all empty they should at least have one file each so restores post 3d post 2d new renders yeah everything should have something in it and that is how it should be so the next thing you want to do is conduct create i per c python equals 3.6 so we're basically creating a virtual environment called i per c here and that is where we are gonna install all our libraries at um so i might have screwed up something um which is really important not to um you will be copy and pasting my code down in the description so you would not make the same mistake as i did um so we will want to type y yeah, please copy my notes down in my description because they will always be correct. So I wouldn't have that like mistake for you to copy. So after that, we created the virtual environment. So we don't need to create the virtual environment anymore once it is created. So we will want to activate that environment and start to throw all our miscellaneous tool into that environment. So we will want to activate it. So you will see that it changes from base to I per C. So now we won't want to install our libraries, but um, there are only two steps. So it's relatively easy. So you want to co um, do conda install PyTorch equals 1.6.0 to uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'll put this down in the description for you to copy and you press enter and you probably have to press y to pr to make sure that you want to process and then wait for it to download everything and you're set so the next thing we want to do is um go down to here we want to copy this line python space setup.py space develop so we want to paste this press enter and then everything should magically fix don't worry about those two red lines those are fine we just fixed it with the last line of installation so um just make sure at the end Okay, so now we are done. You should see this line, finish processing dependencies for i per core equals equals 0 0.1.1. And we are nearly all set. So you want to create a text document for you to paste something really long into it. I just open it twice, I'm a genius. Um, this will be down in the description. So you will see, I'll slowly explain. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick, font. Uh, 28 okay so this will be down it's uh the the long long super long command i mentioned in the video but it is relatively um straightforward so here we can oh i should go over the basic function first so um in hyper core there are three kinds of functions one is only one source input, um, one is one front source and one back source, uh, one front image and one back image. Here you can see the scripts runner for more details. Basically, we can run just one single image, run multiple image, or run something with um, a custom background. So you can actually have a custom background, which I did not mention in the video. So the target result can have a different background. But um, we'll get back to this later. 
so you want to see um, this line of code uh, okay first image size how big is your image how big is your output image this is you should not change this because um, it really depends on how good your GPU can run so if your GPU cannot run um, this high image re resolution it runs out of memory so when you want to go down you go down this to 512 to like 256 or something so if your GPU runs out of memory change this value this one is for choosing your GPU IDs so if you only have one single GPU it should be zero it shouldn't be any other thing else if you have multiple GP, uh, GPUs um, that will be something you should add, ask on discord or you can just figure yourself out since you, you have you probably know your stuff when you have multiple GPUs and here number of sources so when you have um, number of sources as two, you actually input it only one source. It will go down basically, so so you don't have to change later. So you can do maximum to two, but you cannot go over sources that is over two, since you set it to maximum two. So this is the command for output directory. So you can see it's in the slash results. It will be created after you run the code for the first time. And the assets directory is basically where the assets are. And the model ID is Donald Trump 2, which you can change it to anything you want. Uh, let's change it to test just in case. And the source path here. So basically, now we are talking about the source. All right. So here, um, you want to go to assets, samples. Now is going to be Donald Trump 200 this one but let's not use um the 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 the, 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 the materials they provide us so let's just use a image of pewdiepie um so you want to create a folder name it pew and then you just basically drag this folder back in here and you can see the image in here you want to check the file type it's png with small with um, not capital that is kind of important if it's all cap you have to keep it all cap so if it's not all cap you have to switch it to small cap and then you switch this file name to pew and switch here to pew since we want the source to be this image so now we want to use the reference what do we want to use for the reference we want to go to the reference path and then there are oh there are two two videos already but hmm we should use our custom ones to prove that it should, it actually works. So I'm sorry I'm using some dumbass Fortnite shit, but we oh I forgot we will want to also want to change the name to Pew since we want to, the file result file to be named as Pew too. So there are three things that we need to change in the source. One, two, three. These three: the file, the uh, the where the file, the image, and the name. And here's the reference path, and want to change the the reference reference to um, orange, since uh, it's the file name. And then um, you can change the name to orange too, and it's easier for naming later. And this pose underscore fc is basically how many times it's gonna check. So basically, the mm, wait is it the less the smoother I'm sorry the smaller the value the smoother of the temporal poses okay so um for the source you don't really need to have an extra folder to be honest you can just point it to there um, that could work too but for the tidy of this code since we're I'm um, taking it directly from the original I'm gonna keep some sort of same coherence with the original Thing that they provide so you can modify however you want if you know what you are doing and now after you finish writing all these stuff oh remember to check if it's actually mp4 because it may be m4v so it is mp4 here so okay we're, we're, we're safe so we copy this whole line of code paste it here and then press enter it should start running and now it is time to wait for results you should make sure that your source video has a human body that is detectable at all times and the camera does not zoom in and zoom out or have any flashy effects that can have where 
it can have individual frames where the body cannot be detected basically or having too much of a change in because uh, yeah it is not as sensitive and it is harder to transfer in that way so you have to make sure your source video is clear and basically obvious for the AI to detect or else it will produce um, some model errors and which does not successfully um, give you a result so after running everything it should say step 3 running imitator done and this means you are done basically and if it doesn't see this uh you probably encounter some errors and it's either well you should probably head to my discord channel because there are plenty of errors out there so i can i can look at it individually and so you can see your results as um here results um primitives and then pewdiepie since pew since we, that is the source image so that would be here, synthesis, and then imitations, and then yes, we can see the results here. Well, um, it's not perfect, but oh, um, it's, 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 it's not bad. Okay. So you have to make sure that it's the results will always be stored at the source, not the reference. So it will be PewDiePie, synthesis, imitations, and it will be here. This is basically the breakdown of the video so you should delete this if you don't need this clip anymore since it takes up the storage by a lot since it's saving saving in what png oh my that's that's even bigger yeah the, the, it's gonna stack up if your video is longer and this video is already pretty short um and it's like 107 mb and yeah for the other ones they're already straight I, I, I would say they're relatively straightforward after you, if you can like understand all of these so um i think you can probably do it if you have any problems and just come to my discord uh since this function wouldn't be used as much as this main one so yeah um if you if you like my video you can support me through patreon or just check out my main channel's video and yeah Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.